Hey guys, and welcome to the seventh episode in the third series of my daily movie reviews. And today, I'm going to review Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, released in 2004, and this time, directed by Alfonso Cuaron. Now, this film centres around Harry's third year at Hogwarts, getting all the more dangerous, with, yes, yeah, Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban prison to come after Harry. At first, we believe it's to be to kill him. Also, there's a mystery going around as to why well actually we know we think it's to kill him anyway um, so the Dementors are fast are set on the on his trail to try and bring him back the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher Professor Remus John Lupin helps Harry learn a defensive magic called the Patronus Charm uh, that's to repel the Dementors and during a sneaky visit to Hogsmeade then we find out that Sirius Black was Harry Potter's godfather and that Scabbers is really an Animagus, Peter Pettigrew. Now there's this funny scene during the film where Harry's on the trail for Peter Pettigrew and Snape catches him out. <laughs> anyway the story then ultimately leads to them learning that Sirius was innocent all along and served time in Azkaban for no reason and he actually wanted Harry to come and live with him and so the ultimate part of the story well, time travel's been going on throughout with Hermione's time turner, so Dumbledore says to use the time turner to go back in time and rescue Sirius. Well, Buck Beak's executed early in. Um, so they go and rescue him first, then they go and rescue Sirius. And the film ends on a happy note. Sirius is saved as is Buck Beak. And as a thank you present, Harry is given a firebolt because his Nimbus broom is destroyed during the Quidditch game. Turn to page 394. There's my rating for it, guys. Well, actually, 10 out of 10 is my rating for it, not 5. Silly me. Loss of limb. Will not excuse you, page 394. How disappointing. You insolent little professor. And that will be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Join me again next time when we'll review Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Until then, chat out for now.